Hey guys, got something exciting from in the mail today and I know exactly what it is. Thanks, Daniel. That doesn't work. <laughs> Let's try this one. That works much better. Oh yeah. So this is from EZSBC and it is the newest ESP series, the ESP32. Oh, he sent me more than one. So you guys want one? Leave a comment and I'll pick one of the comments to uh, receive one of these. I'll keep one and you guys can have one. Actually, since I recorded this unboxing, Daniel has provided me with more ESPs to give away. So instead of just one, I'm giving away five ESPs. This giveaway is open to anyone in the world. To enter, all you have to do is leave a comment in this video. You could say anything, share some of your favorite YouTube channels, the project you're working on, tell a joke, whatever. Any comment will do. You don't even have to be a subscriber or tweet anything, but I'd appreciate it if you do. YouTube Random Comment Picker will pick five random winners. The winner list will be posted on this YouTube video description on Tuesday, April 18th, 2017. Okay, now let me show you how cool this thing is. You guys probably already heard of the very popular ESP 8266 series, the like, uh, ESP1. I think this is an ESP12. That's a Node MCU module. And I thought these guys were pretty amazing before. But check out the difference between the old one and the new one here. This thing has a dual core instead of just one CPU over here. It has a real-time clock. It has Bluetooth in addition to Wi-Fi. And last but not least, check out all the protocols that supports compared to this. So it has a touch sensor, temperature sensor, a digital to analog converter. So this actually generates an actual voltage instead of just the PWM. And check out how many I/O pins this thing have. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-six I/O pins. Okay, guys. I think I finally got something cool here. It's nothing but a demo. It's uh, completely useless, but it was a lot of fun to code. This is now being served by that ESP, and we could control all these twelve servos using the internet. So that's centering it, and we can make it go to the right. Make it go to the left. Can do a little marching band. And uh, you could also make it spread out from the middle. These are just nothing but different types of loops to control the servos, just to prove that we have complete control over all the 12 servos and we can have up to 16 of them. And then finally, this is my favorite. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So. Daniel from EZSBC, thank you for sending me this toy. And if you guys want one, like I said, we're giving away five of them. So put a comment and I will use YouTube comment picker to pick five random winners. Good luck guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye bye.